Hello there everyone, this is Game Guy 1984 here and this time we will be we will be continuing continuing onward with our playthrough of Super Mario World. But before we do that, let's return here to Yoshi's Island 3 because there were a few things that I missed. Such as this one here. This is point of advice. The big coins are dragon coins. If you pick up five of these in one area, you get an extra Mario. Okay, dragon coins five in an area, you get an extra life. And now for the other thing. The other thing is that there is a green block that you call a star block that has like the one inside of coins. Maybe you already actually get to it. Anyway, now we're back into Donut Plains 1. We're starting. And I think we don't need you, Yoshi, so Yoshi, bye bye. We are introduced to a new element called a feather. That feather is very cute, you know. I do not know why I think feathers are cute. Maybe because I am kinda like crazy in the head sometimes. That's another one. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that the um, Koopas that have flashing capes are the ones that will give you the feathers. This is a bonus room here. That place, you know, like hit the correct blocks in the correct order and you get a free life. Like that, see? That's so easy. See? That's number two right there. And wow, number three. Number four. Oh my goodness. Wow, I got all five. That has never happened before. That honestly never happened before. I promise you, in all of my years playing, that's probably one of the few instances where that has happened. Use Mario's cape to soar through the air. Run fast, jump, and hold the Y button. To keep balance, use left and right on the control pad. You can keep balance. If you're really sloppy, you can be like this. Yeah, she goes down like that. But if you're real good, you can maintain the balance. And even if and if you're even really that good, you can even go upward again. See, like this. You can go up, even up. Just like that. See. I was low on the ground, now I'm a bit higher. And that's the end of this area. And you can actually do that too. By diving down, and you actually make an earthquake. Sally doesn't stun enemies, but that's alright, I suppose. That is another Yoshi here. Just like that, he's dead. And I can't believe I got hit. Here is another dragon coin. And this is a lava lotus plant that actually spits out that. There's enemies there, and there's another message block. And green dotted line blocks. Oh boy, gotta be careful. Freak you. Go to go to somewhere where I can't see you. The red dot areas on the map have two different exits. If you have the time and skill, be sure to look for them. So now, there's the key and keyhole, and you could fly, just to, um, you know, you could fly to get that key and keyhole, but if you're going to do it the right way, you want to actually get the green switch activated, and I don't care about the Yoshi, but then people say, oh, you just hate Yoshi, fine, I'll take Yoshi with me, it's only fair, can I get 15, nope, 28, 
28 freaking stars. How do you like them apples? 28, 28. Yes, indeed, 28. And we're now going to Donut Plains 2. This too has a secret exit. And this secret exit is easily accessible through one of the pipes in the later areas. You will soon see them as we go on. Okay, wait a second. There we go. And hit you. You're going down. Yoshi's doing like a little sliding surfing move. You know, wee, Yoshi is surfing and sliding. Like as usual. I have to keep Yoshi. Oh, I don't want to keep Yoshi because it, it's like an extra an extra sprite thing, you know, like, you know when you're on Yoshi, right, you're three tiles high up, if you're, if you're big Mario, or whatever, you know, if you're small Mario, or right on Yoshi, I think you're two tile, two tiles high up, not this one, but that one, that there is the secret exit, will lead to the secret exit, or a shortcut to the normal exit, but, I would rather go, through it the normal way because there are the dragon coins here and in Super Mario Advance 2 the Super Mario World on the Game Boy Advance there could be a, there's gonna be a thing called a dragon coin hunt and if you collect five all five dragon coins in that area not only will you get an extra life but you will fill up that dragon coin counter thing that is in the menu for those of you that play Super Mario World for the Game Boy events, I think you should know about it. I think, not know about it, I think you should be able to know about what that means, you know? And this one's going up, and this one's going down, and it's yellow, and Mario's hat is red, and his pants are blue. That's nothing new. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking a bit of, you know, a certain someone, but I won't say his name either. And I got that. And two of these are dead. And I thought I had that one too. I guess not. And that's it. That is Donut Plains Dos. Plains of Donut 2. You know. And I think now we're going to actually find the secret exit to the level, of course. Um, there's gonna be another trek, and because it's an automatic level or auto, auto scroll level, it's gonna be a while to get there, which can be quite boring sometimes doing the same thing twice. I mean, if I were to actually say something to somebody twice and they get irritated, they would be mad at me, and then they wouldn't want to talk to me for a while because I keep repeating myself like a dumbass, you know. But hey, that's how things are, right? And that's a super. Hello, Mr. Super. I see you're flying today. You know, this is actually a no fly zone because I can't even get a running start and fly. I mean, I did at the earlier area, the one with the where I decided to dump Yoshi. I flew there, but it wasn't much. You know, it was that much. I love that sound when I kill a charging shot. That round sound. It's so funny. I do not know why. It's probably it's probably my thing, you know. And if we hit this one here, that's a come on. Hit that thing. There we go. That's a vine. That is a vine leading up here to the keyhole and the key. It should have been the key and the keyhole, but oh well. This is the Green Switch Palace. And we can get a life here just by doing this. One, there we go. Two, four, eight, thousand, two thousand, four, and that's it. That's the life. And we are going to be flying. Can I really push the switch? Yes, I did. That switch has been mashed so badly. I think. Not only will green blocks come out, but also babies, baby Koopas, that, sp that um, sprout seeds of glory, something like that, you know? 
anyway, we're going down back to Donna Plains 1. And I really don't want to do this level all over again, so I'm gonna break this level. When they say break, that means they're gonna find a way to just bypass the level without having to deal all the obstacles. Without having to deal with them obstacles again, you know, like me. That's what I'm doing. I'm flying over the level because I do not want to deal with these obstacles again. I've done it once, and I don't want to do it again. But because we got the green switch activated, we can now run up here. Oh, and by the way, we, this block here, this block here, that's actually a run block. If you run into the block, you can go up like this, assuming there's a wall. So yes. Whee! And that's the keyhole exit. That is a beautiful keyhole exit, if you ask me. That leads to that area. Donut Secret 1. And now we're going up here to Donut Ghost House. Oh man, I should have. That's right, next time. This is a ghost house. Can you find the exit? <laughs> Don't get lost. I'll find it. Don't you worry about me. I'll be able to find it. I'll be able to find it. And into the door we go. And we're running into here. And we're gonna hit the block here. This is actually a fake exit. This is not the real way to get to the exit. This just leads into a room. We can get a lot of coins. This co box here contains the traveling coins. You guide it by pushing left, right, up, or down. Like this. Left, up, and then right. And then up and left. And then up and right. And then up and left. And then, oh, guess not. I guess that's it then, that's the amount of coins you can get maximum. That's a lot of coins to get, you know, that is a whole lot of coins to get. Look at that. Note that once you actually use up the traveling coins, the guiding coins, it becomes a regular coin block. And we're back in this area. Don't go into that door again, go inside this door. And then you hit the vine here. And then you go up here, to the left, and into the door. Leads you to the exit, and that's it! That is, that right there. To this video here is just about reaching my limit. So, we're going to find the secret exit of this ghost house, and that'll be it. And yes, there is a secret exit. Uh oh, you know what? Let's watch this cutscene first. Mario goes into the ghost house and is locked in just like that. And anyway, yes, there is a secret exit. How did people find the secret exit? I believe that when we first got this game, there was like a pamphlet about it. I do not know if that is correct, the correct information, but that's what I recall. That's what I can recall, you know. I mean, Oh snap. I mean, I played this game before uh, at least over a hundred times, and I think I can remember it pretty well. Come on, ghosties, come to me this way. Good ghosties. Come on, there we go. And that into that, and we're gonna hit the goal. 26. 26 stars. We have not yet seen up the bonus room. That's fine. And I think, yep, I just about reached my limit. Let's take a look at the top secret area, area real quick. And as you can see here, this is filled with flowers, feathers, and a Yoshi. A very nice place to get part of, if you ask me. So that's it! That was the top secret area. That was the first half of World 2. Next time, we'll be doing the second half of World 2. I am Game Guy 1984 and I am signing out.